Big changes are on the way for a popular shopping center in Virginia Beach. Last night, city council members voted unanimously to redevelop the Kemp's River Crossing Shopping Center at the corner of Kempsville and Indian River Roads. Dana Smith is live there now. So Dana, what happens next? Well, Nicole, a lot is going to happen next here at this shopping plaza for lease signs and empty stores are not uncommon. This is the Kemp's River Crossing Shopping Center. You can see there's not much going on right now, but developers plan to transform this community. They're going to demolish some of these older buildings to make way for new apartments. I think it's a good idea. I think um, the shopping center since since Cape Mart and Farm Fresh have kind of died out. I think it's need a little lift. People who live near Kemp's River Crossing Shopping Center say stores in the plaza have struggled to stay open. This used to be kind of a more booming place, but I think it's this seems pretty run down. I mean, I feel like all the empty spots, I think the space could be utilized better. A major change is on the way. Virginia Beach City Council members signed off on a major redevelopment for the shopping center, which is located off Indian River Road. The plan is to transform the 20 acre site into a mixed use shopping center with apartments, retail and green spaces. I think it's a good idea. Yes. Only thing I'm not excited about is how long it's going to do, how long it's going to be. Virginia Beach City Council member Rocky Holcomb represents the district the shopping center sits in. A lot of these shops, as you look around, the, the big box retail, I mean, the Kmart is down there, nothing's in there, the farm fresh. So we're finding out that a lot of the big box retail super uh, shopping centers are going downhill. So we got to find a new way to repurpose them and use them. And I think having mixed use with housing is awesome. He said this revitalization is good news for Virginia Beach residents. We understand that they have a concern about increased traffic. And we're going to work hard on making sure that we keep that at a minimum. As for when construction will start, Holcomb said it could take as long as two years for things to get off the ground. I'm live in Virginia Beach. Dana Smith, 13 News Now.